Hey game players, it's Jason with Gameplay XP. Um, today we're going to smash some chests while making troops. Check it out. All right, so basically um, we got six minutes before the hourly changes. So at this moment, our hourly is set for training um, and our COP is set for training. So let me switch over to my main, which is J Dreamer. And let's smash some chess. All right, give it a sec, apologize. All right, real quick, I'm just gonna go right in and I'm gonna look at my buffs and I can do an exchange four for 100%. Uh, let's do it. All right, I've got it. Let's use it. All right, and let's go right after them. So right now I have all four of my troop maker, my barracks, my archery, my stables, and the military uh, university all had them ready. So that basically, without even doing anything, we're at 2.26 million. And that's just by having them prepared Previously, we're ready to collect, all right? <clears throat> so in addition to that, I also have my COP, but I'm not gonna waste my time going down to that. I also know that right now I am focused on infantry. So I'm going to speed up my infantry and I have 104 hours. Because I have the XP shop, it allows me to just quickly jump my hours down um, and like that, I have just spent 15 hours in speed ups in one click of a button, two clicks of a button, three clicks of a button, and we're done. Uh huh. And I have now hit all three of my chests. Okay. So do a little maintenance, clean up. All right. So in a matter of a minute, I have got three chests. I have got my COP three chests. Okay. And I need to wait three more minutes for the hourly to roll over so I can continue. Um, in those three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and do some maintenance. Um, you know, I could always just step away, but I always try and use as much time as I can to maintain my farms and maintain my account. I like to spend 15 to 20 minutes at a time, making sure everything's current and then get out of it. You know, when you have 10 accounts, you know, every minute counts. So because we're getting close to a reset, I'm just going to go ahead and knock this out as if I'm doing a <clears throat> daily update. So check for all my freebies. Oh, I want to get those. I want to hit those hard. This is where you have to get courage medals. So use your 15 minute or 15 tokens for your 50 um, courage medals. It's always important. Um, looks like I need one marauder to get this. I need 14 marauders to get the next level. Uh, ROC just ended. So, all right. Um, those are all updated. I've got what is this? Is it a recruit ticket? No, it's a level up. Okay. Um, let's go get some gold. Let's see if I have anything in here. All right, we've got two minutes, less than two minutes. Let's kill off some marauders. Let's 
should give a hand. Kill off more marauders. Let's get a deer. And if you haven't seen my how to maintain farms video, what I do is I use a clockwork or a counterclockwise motion and I run through my farms or run, run through my castle making sure that I've got everything that I possibly can do updated all resources out everything I can as fast as possible um, you know I use a one two three clock round system um, it just keeps me down to about 15 minutes per update so every time I have to go in and <clears throat> update things I, I want to be fast and efficient you know um, we've got 20 seconds Okay, so let's get ready to rumble, guys. Um, and again, when we're looking at our troops, I have over 2 million troops. I'm focused on infantry because right now, the the ROC or Reign of Chaos, we just finished Season 1. We're about to go into Season 2. And I am an infantry strong unit. I want high demolition, so I focus on infantry. Um, I do have bolters that are being produced up into Falconeers. So I, I do maintain those through here, but out here in my barracks, <clears throat> I am running T7s and I am maxing them out for my second hourly chest. And look, because they're T7s, I mean, I can quickly smash chests. And with this VIP shop, able to just give me my 14 hours or my, let's say if I want to do all, all of these five minutes, it, did, it tells me to use 185 minutes. Boom, done. You know, <clears throat> that's a lifesaver. All right, let's see how close am I? One more. Yeah. Okay. So I've been able to hit my next hourly, which is all three chests for my next hourly. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm able to take my rewards up to my fifth in my COP. So that is a total of 11 chests in... How many minutes? Okay, so we are at, what was that? Eight minutes in, we have 11 chests done. Um, I also now can claim this T7 or higher. All right. <clears throat> so th the biggest thing I can tell you is that <clears throat> getting your castle level up to a certain level <clears throat> and getting your troops up to a certain level help you be able to maintain hitting those chests quickly. Using the last 15 minutes of an hour and, and using your COP exchange ticket for 100% uh, increase in your COP, those hourly chests back to back and the COP maximized gives you the most amount of chests you can make as fast as possible. You know, eight minutes in plus I've been all around my castle and updated all my resources. I'm good for now. So <clears throat> hopefully that helped you <clears throat> understand how to smash chests for your COP. Um, you know, I'm going to put my last two out for gathering, and that means I've updated this account for its hourly time period, and I'm out. So if you have any questions, hit me up, JDreamer with GXP. Um, you know, keep learning, keep sharing, keep growing. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, game on, guys.